So my shortest distance, if this guy is going down here, where will my shortest distance kick in? 90 degrees are perpendicular to this guy here. So it's this fella that I meet. Is that my shortest distance? Yeah, if that's the right angle there, then this is my shortest distance. So now, to work out the shortest distance, it's usually, how do we normally work it out? H sine theta. It's normally just going to be a h sine theta. So we need two things. We need the h, which in this case on our diagram will correspond to what? The uh, uh, h Yeah, that distance there. Yeah. And then have we got that? Yeah, yeah. 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 20 degree 5. And the other thing is our theta in this case now gets messy. What will that be equal to? Where would it be? With seven point three three. <coughs> well, in our diagram, where was theta even going to fit in? Um, at the top. The angle the top, the top left or right? Top. It's the left. It's the top. It's top. the whole angle. Top yeah. left. Yeah. Oh, let's, oh, let's draw it out here somewhere. You've got that. You've got this. And there's my right angle here. So really, this is my 20 root 5. I've taken this little triangle, drawn it over here. This is 20 root 5. This is what I'm looking for, shortest distance. This is a theta, have I used? What we normally refer to as theta. However, with theta is already used up, so alpha is gone. What am I left with? Beta. Beta will go. So I'd really like to know what that angle beta is, which is this guy in here. Could you do the tan like minus 1, uh, 40? Or that, you go. No, would it just be 180 minus alpha? Do we know what alpha is? Yeah. Do we know what beta is? Yeah. So we can get 180 minus those two. Oh, no, we don't know. Yeah. Yeah, because we know what theta is. Well, we don't know what beta is. Oh, we don't know what beta is. Well, we know what theta is, and is that theta the same? Yeah, theta is the same as the top left. Yes, it's just 180 minus alpha minus alpha. Yeah. Very good. And how did I get that theta down here to begin with? Just remind me. Um, by yeah, that uh, inverse tan of 40 and 60. Yeah, it was the 20 and the 40. So basically, it was telling me the position of Q relative to P. So it's trying to make sense as the same angle going up as it would be there. Okay. So my theta is what I had over here. So. So only like minus theta minus alpha. Yeah. So I'm looking for beta is equal to. 180 minus <coughs> minus my other two guys 63.43 plus what was it 82 my guys it is equal to 33.7 point seven This is absolutely a horrible blackboard usage at this stage. I've got a small little square left. Stop laughing. My shortest distance. Okay. It's sine theta. My h was okay. my hypotenuse, which is 20 root 5. So that is equal to h sine of that guy in there. 20 root 5 sine of. 33.7. My shortest distance equals. Which one? 24.81. Units? I don't know how I'm going to stick all of that in a 10 minute YouTube tip, but we're not even finished the question. But, as Ian said, ask a typical question. I mean, this procedure of finding the right angle and having it as h sine theta, you would always get in your shortest distance type questions. Our problem here was just finding the angle. That's why we had so much work. But the rest of it is straightforward. I will rub off most of that word in a second. I still need to finish at the time when P and Q are closest together. So I'll finish up with that. Um, I left that up there just for a minute. In fact, if you want, some of you are probably already ahead. If you want to try and finish it off yourselves, which you should all, you should be able to do at this stage. Let it follow. Uh, no, I limited it out afterwards. I could come up with an incredibly witty insight. I knew it at the end and beyond. We'd have lost it. <laughs> it's unlikely, but... <laughs> it could happen. Okay, the, the time when P and Q are closest together. So where was my diagram? One was up there, that was Q up there, Q was up there. 
It was moving in that direction. That's the velocity of Q relative to V. This was our sharp distance. We keep it in the same colors. So it was like a right angle, but that was my sharpest distance, which turned out to be, what did you say? 24.8. Uh, this angle here was beta, which was? And it's asking me for the time when P and Q are closest together. So we know they're closest together when Q gets to here. This, remember, back two steps, is a makey uppy diagram. It isn't what really happened, but the two pieces of information you can take from this that are valid are what? Time. The time it took it to get from there to there, and? Time and roughly distance. Good. The shortest distance. Remember, we want to find the shortest distance. So we got the shortest distance from the makey uppy diagram, but it's still a valid distance. So we can take that from it and we can take uh, time. So basically, if we want to find out the time when P and Q are closer together, what we really need to do is find out how long did it take Q to get from there to Q dash. Okay? So we want to find time for Q to go to Q dash. Two things I would like to know. I would like to know my distance, and I would like to know my you have the speed. I already have the speed, which you told me was 8.0. So I need to get my distance. How will I get my distance? You have to, yeah, it's Pythagoras. What else do I have? That was 24. What, what distance was it? 24. Distance is equal to, so if you get the distance, I know that. Q to Q dashed, distance squared plus 24 pi 8 squared equals what squared? 20 root 5 squared. So working all of that out, I get my distance equals 37.21 meters. I know my velocity, I know my distance. I always have to do this. Velocity is distance over time. So I'm looking for time is equal to distance over velocity. Time equals 37.21 over velocity of 8.06. What's the 24.8? Okay. So I get my time of 4.16 units. I leave that just to get to the questions. Do you, leave, or do you lose marks if you don't put in the unit? No, strictly speaking, you don't lose marks for the unit. But we like to write them down. We feel naked giving questions with our units. And us being naked is not a person. Is this done? Leave it over. <coughs> Thank you, Judy. Finish. Sir? Yes. Just yeah, switch it off just now. Yeah, part two. Uh, sorry, Julie, or Ashley? Um, part two, is that's the nearest meter. So would you not then use, instead of 24.8 meters, 25 meters? Per yeah, and, yeah, and it's the same. So I, again, remember I said reread, read, reread, read, and reread again? I didn't do it here. I gave my answer. I thought I'd done. I've lost marks. And if I'm looking for an A1, even if I'm looking for an A, even if I'm looking for 40%, and you're still trying, and they're the worst sort of marks to give away, the marks where you know the answer, which you just didn't take your time. If I have to give it to the nearest meter, and I'm given 24.8 meters, is that what the answer was? No. Yeah. What was the answer? Oh, so to the nearest meter, I'm going to lose marks, and a, it's three marks. And it's very hard to pick up three marks. So I'm throwing it away like that is stupid, and I do it. To the nearest meter is 25 meters. Correct, I don't one decimal place. I think I'm being extra helpful by giving up the two decimal places. But there is a skill involved in rounding that off. And because I haven't done it, I don't pick up the marks that's associated with that skill. So the one decimal place your answer is 4.6. Okay, stupid. I'm throwing the marks away. Make sure you don't do the same.